froze for a second as soon as I hit start recording, and I'm like, oh no! <laughs> what? Oh, what could have happened? I know exactly what could have happened. Piece of shit computer. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, looks like we're both in shot. I think. Yeah. yeah. In there. I think. Yeah. Close enough. Close enough for government work, and I can say that. I've worked for the government. <laughs> um, anyway... Oh, yeah, yeah, hey, you're just in time. Oh, let me send out the notifications to people. Hello, everybody! Oh, hi! Hi! Yep, yep. Back from GDC. Ow, wow. But, uh, he is, I, I don't know if he's still in the hospital or not, but he is apparently back to his grumpy self and tweeting and stuff again. Well, that's something, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway! Alrighty. The yeah. journey continues! Yeah, you've been hard at work. 78%. Yeah, yeah, I uh, finished up the main story. I've explored some of the extra modes. Not too many of the extra modes, but some of the extra modes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that end boss is something. Is something? Yeah, like. So I haven't played Robobot, but I've watched a video of the end boss, and it's like nine million phases. Yeah. And it's it's the end boss of this isn't that bad. Yeah, isn't that long of a slog? But. It's still, still pretty something. Yeah, there's a lot. To, <laughs> there's a lot to it. <laughs> um, the main campaign doesn't actually take a whole lot of time to get through. Um, I think the longest part was just like I got held up in some stages, making sure I was getting the puzzle pieces and switches and stuff. Oh yeah, I'm just picking up everything. Yeah, it makes sense. Who do you want to play as? Okay. Who haven't I played as yet? So it was, I played as Marx, I played as Day to Day. I haven't played as Goo. Okay. Let me, let me try Goo. Oh man. Oh yeah. Rah. <laughs> He's a happy Dark Matter boy. Yeah, he is. Oh wait. Hey, I'm a person now. Yeah, you're a real person. I'm a real boy! Um, ultimate choice... It depends on what setting you're playing ultimate choice on. Because you still have to fight Morpho Knight, and then... Like, on the hardest difficulty, you have to fight Morpho Knight, and then Void, and then Void Soul. Oh. I haven't actually fought Void Soul yet. Hmm. Is Void the last guy? Or... Uh, yes. Okay. Um... <sighs> Annoyingly, he's one of those localization things I was talking about the other day. Oh. Um, like Dark Nebula being Dark Zero in Japanese, Void Termina is uh, End Null in Japanese. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Which... Yeah. Like, at least it sort of translates. Yeah, like, it's it's the gist of it. It's like, yes, I can see how a Null Terminator would translate to... Termination of the Void. Yeah. But, like, the the number theory slash programming jokes have kind of been a thing with the Dark Matter bosses. Ah. So. <laughs> I mean, it would, I mean, honestly, the name just calling him Null Terminator is actually kind of... Kind well, of it's it's End Nil. End Nil. But, yeah. um, but that's, that's just the, the Objective C version of the yeah. Null Terminator. <laughs> um, yeah. Which means, since it's Objective C, we need to kill it with fire and prejudice, <laughs> and make sure it never comes back. <laughs> and on that note, there we go. <laughs> it's time for some happy times. Whee!
Out the counter goes beyond 999. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is actually a bit too dash happy. Yeah, I remember the, the bird one from the, it's like from the first game from Superstar. Yeah. yeah. It's always been around. I forgot that, um, the pain power up was in Superstar. Really? Yeah, you get him from you get it from the chameleon boss oh, or right. one of heavy lobsters attacks. I forgot about that. And it's a one-time use thing. Yeah, it was um, like the screen. And the artist does have that ability as like a super move that gets rid of the power up. Yeah. Helper AI is very smart in this game and knows when it needs to do something. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of a rarity. I know, right? This game has good AI. Good AI, tons of lore, and it's a Kirby game. It's just completely tricking people. <laughs> <laughs> Getting used to being a blob. So weird. I know, right? Oh, I shared that infographic, didn't I, Tay? With the, like, here's how all the Kirby games retroactively have the deepest lore. Because, <laughs> um, like, uh, Return to Dreamland first named the Ancients. Um, because the entire point of that game is Magalore trying to. Stuff and the Star Cutter, uh, the ship, yeah, uh, was made by the ancients, as was uh, Nova from Superstar. Right. The uh, Wish Commander, right? Because, uh, yeah, the, the, the big clockwork star. Because if you'll remember, Galactic Nova, uh, Superstar uh, Deluxe was the first game that the Kirby team worked on. Yeah. Which is why a lot of their games take their cues from the bits. So, like, retroactively, Galactic Nova is a- Oh! Not down that side. <laughs> Galactic Nova is a thing from the Ancients, um, as is other stuff. And, um, the Master Crown and the Dream Sword from that game are also, like, ancient things. Okay. But, um, this game introduces another... Another Something, layer. Another layer of it, because the, the bad guys are from this, uh, this cult that had dealings with the Ancients, but got slapped. Um, um, and it becomes apparent that some of the stuff that was previously attributed to the Ancients is instead attributed to this cult. Like, the crown and the sword, because... Uh, the end boss is using them! Interesting. 
Yeah. Um, apparently the, uh, the star rod from Kirby's Adventure mm -hmm. is a, a device of the Ancients. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, the Ancients, um, the, the, the cult worship Dark Matter. Okay. Um, and they're trying to revive their, uh, Dark Lord that was sealed away. That's, that's Void Terminator. Okay. Yeah. Well, that puts a lot of context in it. Yeah! Um, oh, and just all the stuff with the mirror is a problem. The mirror is another ancient artifact, but we don't know who it's attributed to. But we can just kind of assume that in the mirror realm, uh, Terminal 1 in the past or something. Okay. <laughs> and that's why Dark Mind. The, the mirror versions, mirror realm version of what yeah, that's why. Right. That's why Dark Mind is a thing there. That's why Dark Mind is a thing. It's taken over, and there's Dark Shadow, Shadow Meta Knight, Shadow Kirby, and Shadow Dedetta, mm -hmm. and King D Mind. And... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. It's, it's also. It also makes me think to the actual representation oh, of. Uh, of uh, what's his name? Of. Uh, uh, dark mind as big, huge, uh, the giant staring eye. Well, have you played um the extra modes in Triple Deluxe? Uh, Triple Deluxe. I don't think I played the extra modes because the the Da 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 Tour extra mode where you're playing through is Da 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 and racing through. Oh wait, yeah, um, this is where you fight, you fight Shadow Da Da and he's got some of the possessed Da 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 stuff from Dreamland Three. Mm -hmm. Dreamland Two and Three. Yeah. Um, well, in Kirby, Team Kirby Clash Deluxe, mm -hmm. on the eShop, which, fuck you, Nintendo, for trying to make me register another Nintendo Network ID <laughs> on my new 3DS. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, they require a Network ID, uh, and an ID to purchase that, okay. or any of those expanded Kirby games. But the end boss of that is you get a cutscene of, of Taranza pulling out the mirror um, again and going, hey, I'm going to summon the boss, basically. Yeah. And um, it's it's a shadow version of Mask Dedetta, and he's called King D Mind as a sort of pun on King Dedetta and Dark Mind. Okay. And it's even more so. He goes, like, full... Opens up the, opens the up stomach the mouth, mouth thing, yeah. but also like has phases of the attack where he just like basically folds up to dead and it's just the eyeball fucking trying to kill you. Yeah. We oh we did get four things. Cool. Yeah. Um, do we want to go for a hundred percent? Yeah, let's go for a hundred percent. Cool. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I need to play Robobot too today. Um, yeah. I hear it's really good. I basically had no interest in it during during its uh, during its pre-release, but now that I've kind of gotten back, back into the groove of Kirby and watched some videos, um, I've seen a lot of people saying that the environments and stuff in Robobot are really just really good um, and have a lot of stuff going on in them. It's probably because it's a single-player game. I've seen a lot of people complaining about the levels of this not having a whole lot going on in them, but that's... you can do fire attacks. Oh, right, right, right. Um, so it's a dash. Yeah. Not having a whole lot going on in them. Um, but that's probably to accommodate the, uh, the multiplayer <laughs> <laughs> That makes sense. Because you gotta, you gotta be able to maintain frame rate and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, in Robobot, it's a... a Greedy Galactic Corporation has found some of the ancients' blueprints and is trying to make another one. Yeah, that one has an interesting extra stuff going on too. That's got lots of interesting extra stuff going on. It's like the the actual what's actually happening with the CEO of the corporation and his secretary that she might may or may not be his daughter or something. There's some weird yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's it's another one of those somebody got corrupted somewhere along the lines. Yeah. Oh, man, one of the, um, so the stone power-up in this one has lots of just sort of easter eggs and cameos and stuff. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, and one of them is Taranza and Sectonia pre-corruption. Oh. When she still looks like she's the same race as him. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I recognize this music. Yeah. I like that they have the little flowers, Dreamland 3 style. <laughs> oh dear. They're hanging out. Well, because Dreamland 3 had the heart stars, and, like, common thing for the heart stars. The common thing for the heart stars was, like, oh, there's flowers in the world, and you need to do something with them. Go in the door! I will do it! Uh. <laughs> um, either, like, water them, or jump on them, or not jump on them, or get rid of a certain type of flower and keep this one, or yada yada yada. Yeah. Okay, I need someone to power me up with fire. I, I, I said fire! <laughs> Hold on. I just gotta tackle you. That's, that's not fire. Oh, that's not fire, is it? No. There we go. Okay. Um... Yeah, stuff looks clean on my end. Hey, I don't think the buffering is... on my end. So used to using the attack button to stop jumping. I know, right? <laughs> oh man, going through the old Dreamlands was just fucking. Because in Dreamland One, it's like you have the jump button, and then you have to press up if you want Kirby to start floating. Yeah. And once you're in float mode, you can mash jump to keep going. Mm -hmm. But ugh. And then in Kirby's Dreamland Two, it still kind of works that way, but it's better. It's been streamlined a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And then like the Super Nintendo games happened, and it's like, oh, thank god, I can now just press jump a lot. Yeah. Um. I'm a little annoyed that Gooey can't just get power-ups like Kirby in this. But, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, that's something I would have expected, seeing as he, I mean, he has the ability. But I guess they didn't want to necessarily yeah. have to make all the hats. Yeah, basically. I assume that's why they didn't do it for the animals as well. Yeah. And this is from Dreamland 2, the song, I believe. Yeah, it's the cloud area. Oh, yeah. Reminds me, on my first playthrough, I got to the crack of the was like, shit, should have brought an umbrella. <laughs> and now I will know. Aw. Oh. Wait, does his rain actually get blocked by the umbrella? The chumbrella! Yeah, oh, yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. Gooey can do that. Alright, yeah, I can do that. Uh, yep. <laughs> chumbrella time. Wait. Oh! Oh! Oh. I think that was a paint. Oh, uh, no, he was a, uh, microphone guy. Oh, microphone? Okay. Which is still a three-time use. Fuck that noise! I'm gonna fucking Yeah! Cleaning life! Yeah. I love that move in Greenland 3. It's just like, Nago is now a train. He is cleaning up this area of evil and filth. <laughs> you cannot escape. <laughs> is that the, uh, that, the, that paint character that started out as a boss in, that was an actual, just boss boss? Uh, no, although the description of her does say she has sisters. Yeah, okay. Um, because you have Drossia in Canvas Curse, and then you have uh, Clacia in Rainbow Curse. Ah. And then you have um, Paintsia as a boss in Triple Deluxe. Okay, yeah, that's the and one. And now I... Vividria is a mini boss. Interesting. Yeah. Ah, uh, go ahead. There you go. Yep. Now we have Chef. Yeah, you can. 
unlike me when a player tries to use that LED, it's not one time to use that LED. Mouse. So when Kirby uses it, it's like, oh, I hate it! <laughs> I hate the ability. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and Vividria's bio, I don't know if it's in English or Japanese, says she has sisters, but does not expound on that. I haven't been able to find anywhere online that catalogs all of the the sculptures and paintings that Vividria makes when you're fighting her. I've seen plenty of videos that, like, here are all the things you can do with the artist ability when you're playing as it. Yeah. But, like, during the boss fight, she'll send off, like, the bombs with the parachutes, or she'll make, like, a stone master hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or stuff, yeah. Yeah, the artist switches are all great. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any, like, any plot stuff related to them, or they just kind of show up? Well, Drossia and Clacia are the main antagonists of Canvas Curse and Rainbow Curse. Yeah. But, like, overall, overarching plot, man, not really. Yeah. Um, they're not from main Kirby games. Mm -hmm. Like, they're all, like, Kirby something over here, but over in Japan, the main ones are Hoshino Kirby, whereas the side ones are just, like, Kirby with a not an imaginative subtitle. Like, over here, it's Kirby Canvas Curse, right? Yeah. Uh, over there, it's just Kirby Touch. <laughs> or Kirby Rainbow Touch for the, the Wii U one. Yeah, yeah. Whereas the main games are Hoshino Kirby and then maybe a subtitle. Yeah. So, like, it was Hoshino Kirby for Dreamland, and then Hoshino Kirby, like, the Star Rod Adventure, and then Hoshino Kirby 2, and Hoshino Kirby Super Deluxe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hoshino. <coughs> Hoshino being the adventure, or what is that? Hmm? Hoshino. Is that adventure? Hoshino or? is, um, Kirby of the Stars. Yeah, Kirby of the Stars. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, because I know in America it's just Kirby. Kirby yeah. Kirby and the whatever. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Alrighty. Off we go. Off we go! What's the secret of Squirrel? Kirby of the bus stoppers. Yep. She's an octopus. We did not have confirmation of that until the 20th anniversary. I didn't expect her to be a jellyfish. Uh, a lot of people thought she was dark matter. Just oh. because she replaced um, Chow Mao as the, the female Gooey analog. Cameoed in Dreamland 2 for some fucking reason. I don't think they even shared development teams or anything. You just there. Yep. We don't need that because you can do stuff. Yep. I do choo fawn over Choo Choo, just not as much as I fawn over Gooey. Yeah. <laughs> um, and they're generally, like, in games together, so. Oh, well, that works out. <laughs> I think the only game that Choo Choo shows up in that Gooey doesn't is Kirby 64, and that's only by its own reality. Ah. Um, in the uh, level transition animations of Greenland 3, uh, Gooey will try to flirt with Choo Choo, and she will literally smack the shit out of him and go back to trying to look cute in front of Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the, the um, development artwork for Kirby 64 shows that the 
animal buddies were like properly or uh, it just came out of time. I don't know what happened there. Like the design scope changed or something. Group the 64 is a really short game. Yeah. I I 100 percented it in a day. Oh, wow. While streaming and commentary. Yeah. 64 was the one with the duck with the multiple power um, Yeah, it was the first one to do combining. Yeah. I remember as a kid it took me a while to get through, but I think it was because I kept on finding all the different power-ups. Like I wanted to find everything and everything I could think. Yeah, once when I was younger I didn't quite have a good grasp on how the that's not quite correct. I didn't have a super great grasp on how the the environment indicated what power up I needed to use. Ah. Uh, uh, gotta kill that guy again. There you go. Uh, I'm going through it this time. It's like, oh, it's these colors. Okay. Yeah. I do this. While there were one or two instances where I needed to, like, go to another level and then get some power-ups that were immediately available. Uh, and also me just completely failing to recognize when an enemy was giving me an ice power-up. Because I was like, I needed an ice power-up before the ice world, and I'm like, fuck, where do I find one of those little penguin enemies? Right? Yeah, yeah. And I completely failed to realize that the little, like, helicopter eyeball uh, guys that, like, get the stupid grins on their faces and try to chase you. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. they give you the ice power up. Oh. Yeah. Alright, that is something. Because I think that's that's what back to most of the time was just, I need this power up to get it, and then I have to go to the stage and not lose it. Yeah, yeah. The thing. But, would it be would it be right to state that they generally just kind of put the power ups in the stage? Uh, they did, but they weren't like in the same. Um, and it'd be like, oh, here's this power up, but it's at like the beginning of the level. Keep it. Yeah. Just... That makes sense. Oh shit! You can fire too? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, I was wondering, I was like, wait, what can I do while I'm in here? I was like, oh, I can, I can shoot. Oh, yeah, they like, yeah. You know, I didn't actually watch that much of Kirby right back at you, I should have. <laughs> Doesn't matter what power up I have. Yeah, it's. Kirby right back at you, the main thing. Because I'm not even sure how well it survived the translation was the other. Uh, I don't know. Because I know it was a pretty silly thing overall. Um, and I know there was a lot. I watched the pilot and the first. I watched like the first set of episodes they released, and I know there was a lot of stuff in the pilot that didn't make it into the rest of the show proper. Ah, uh, like the Dark Matter <laughs> cameo. Yeah. Hey, Meta Knight, get fucked! Show me your 
and then we have to like run Wait, no, no, no! No! Why? <laughs> there we go. Did you get him? I thought so. God damn it! No, it. Chef Kawasaki, you monster! <laughs> ah! <laughs> doing? He was trying to fucking eat me! <laughs> I was trying to replace him with Mennonite, he knew! <laughs> we'll just have to go to a dream thing. And then, and then grab him that way. Oh no! What happened? Where did I go to? Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Look at that. Oh yeah, then this happens. Like, hi guys. Yeah, if you couldn't tell by the giant red eyeball motif all over this fucking cult shit. Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> also the they they made it very clearly uh, cultish. Yeah. And all those candles, and then it's got the ring, and it's uh -huh. like. Uh huh. Onward. Got things. Met a nice friend now. Yay! The Fortress of Shadows. Jump Bastion! <laughs> Jump Bastion. Bastion? Using the capture button. Oh, I don't know. I can that much. What is Oh, I find the, it hard to control. That's the nest power up, basically? Yes, actually. That's a really good way of putting it. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Get out of here, Chef Kyle. Yeah, it's the best power. Oh, it's so much fun playing this nice and smash. I want to be able to do it in my Kirby games. So I'll take that. Oh man. Bring it, yo yo. Game for win! Saki is the worst friend. He tried to fucking eat me. He was like, friends share and share alike. Surely you wish to share your meaty goodness with me. I'm like, no! No, actually, I do. Thank you. That seems kind of easy to find. Yeah, actually. Something tells me there's something. Hey. 
thing. <laughs> nah, that's fine. <laughs> Man! <clears throat> Alright, this is when we get NPCs that actually start talking to us. What? Or not! Never mind. We don't have those damn bastard mages yet. We got these guys! Oh, also oh. returning from Dreamland 3. It's, it's basically the low, low, as well, but yeah, it's just, yeah, it's a little more character to it. without a new Tenchi series is like three years. It's been going continuously since the early 90s. Yeah. It is one of the longer running animes at this point. Does it actually, like... Is OVA the Season 4 is coming out this year. What? I know, right? Uh... There have been various mangas, so you're gonna have to be more specific. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there isn't a main manga. No. Um... Yeah. What happened was the guy who created Tenchi doesn't own Tenchi due to licensing quirks. So he was doing a long-running manga that was legally classed as a doshinshi for a long time. Ah. Which is where a lot of the new characters in the third season of the OVA came from. Um, but he had to, like, cram all of them into, like, one eight-episode season, which is why a lot of it seems rushed. Whereas people who've been reading his stuff for the past decade were like, Oh, yay, we finally get to see these characters in the anime. Oh, and the okay. rest of us are like, Who the fuck are these Mary Sues? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is this bullshit? Yeah. <clears throat> does... I guess the main question I have about the opiates is, does Tenchi choose a girl in every one? Or does he... Um, the, ob the original uh, Tenchi, which is the OBAs, yeah. um, he marries all of them because polygamy is just a thing in dry society. But he marries Ryoko and has a kid with her first. Ah. So she's his first choice, but in actuality, it's just like, actually, he's just a... He's, he's basically too kind to say no to everybody else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, wait. I know he has a kid with her first, but I can't remember if he actually marries her first, because one of the new girls in season three is his, like, official... Beyonce from the Royal Band. Ah. Uh, who is, through weird fucking video game anime logic, a female version of Kaguya. Oh. Yep. Yay. Don't ask. Yeah. Just don't fucking ask. I, I, I'm all. I'm all. <laughs> uh, 
that is, um, and I can't remember if they're actually, like, married, married, or they're just engaged. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, she's, she's feeling like I can Oh, it's dumb. <laughs> I don't like her. <laughs> yeah. Um, she's who Keone is based on, but they didn't use her because they wanted to have character they, the, the company that was doing it, they wanted to have character they own. Uh, uh, so okay. she's, uh, because she's a partner with the green hair and the whole time to come up and stuff. Yeah. Um, but how this translates into the anime is, they just have her showing up and being fucking good at anything and like bringing Mahoshi to heal and being better than Aika and Ryoko and oh by the way I'm the legal wife. I and, see. Yeah, yeah, it's bullshit. <laughs> you can see why a lot of people are like, the fuck is this noise? <laughs> that everything? Yeah, yeah, basically. That's uh that's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> It starts off good. The, the season starts off good, but then kind of gets away from them with just stuff like that. Because they have some good stuff. Like, you know, um, like Tenchi's dad wants to remarry and just like, oh, we have to deal with sort of like bringing another person into this family <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, but then they just... It's, it's basically stuff that he'd done in his... Because they got the original trainer back to work on the like, season 3 and the other season 4. Ah. Um, so it's, it is a bunch of stuff he'd been doing in his comics over the intervening decade and now had, like, eight episodes to put into the anime. I see. So, yeah, it's, it's a bad anime. This is what it is. Oh, okay. Which I'm, I'm more willing to accept that now, but at the time I was like, this is bad, and you're all bad, and you should feel bad. <laughs> uh, okay. You, hold up. You have a friend for your ability. Ah, right, right, right. So I just hold up, right, and then you jump on. Yep. You go. Now fling me! Don't <gasps> tell the elf! Um, <laughs> toss me! You'll have to toss me! <laughs> Don't tell the elf. Gooey is so versatile! <laughs> hey, Courtney! Oh. Uh, Courtney is the friend who shares my birthday and moved to Seattle recently. Oh. It also has a younger brother with the same name and spelling as mine. It's kind of freaky, That's... if I'm being honest. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, sure, you sure you guys aren't like connected by some universal thingy or something? Some, some, some. Uh, yeah. She's a way better artist than me. Oh. Oh. Again! All right, Frank. Hold on. Ah. Uh. Go! Yeah. Oh. Okay. okay. We need you. I need to throw you from there or somebody. Get out of here! Get out of here! Got the thing. Got the thing with the stuff. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but which of us is the AU? Well, as, as it turns out, there isn't actually a real one. Oh. The the core one died. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> There. I don't like this fanfiction anymore! <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, the, the, uh, the core one is... These just... enemies have not been in the series since we left. Yeah. Well, aren't they basically dudes from Subcon? Mario 2? Uh, they're very similar. Yeah. But they are actually enemies from Green Uh, the thing with Super Mario Bros. 2 is everybody knows that it's very like that Panic. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Doki Doki Panic, what not everybody knows about that, is that that was a tie-in game for an event for, like, a big mask festival event. Uh -huh. Which is why everything's fucking masks in that game. Um, alright, we want to not let it get spiked to death. Okay. Oh, oh. 
Oh, oh no. no. Okay, back up to the top. <laughs> oh, I guess just. Okay. Oh, uh, that's nice of it. It's like. Don't, don't make us do the walk of shame. Yeah. I mean, we could just ignore the thing across and not get these sweet secrets, but why the fuck would we do that? That's that's not what gaming is about. You get everything. All the time. Okay. And then we just try and do like that, and then he's like... He's like, I got the key on you, you something for, like, unlocking everything. Yeah. Like an extra boss, or a... I don't know. Yeah, like, you... Even after you beat the game, you open up a couple new uh, places in the next map. But, like... Um, I guess there's a boss in one of them, but it's not, like, a new boss. Yeah. It's just, yeah. It's just a repeat boss. Yeah. Is a, a good reward. Um, like, in one of the extra modes, you play through as the, the helper is a Kirby. Yeah. And instead of Void Terminator, you fight uh, Orca Knight, which is a different, like, take on Galactonite. Yeah. Uh, what is up with Galactonite, anyway? Uh, he's. like. I don't know. Yeah. Like, he's, he's, who Metanite fucking is trying to be, I think, is, yeah. the, is the, is the thing. He's, he's from the ancient civilization, or has healing with them, or is the is from them, or something. Yeah, because, uh, I know some people say that he's just a future version of Kirby, in fact, he's and like, then there's Morpho, who is, like, the true knight, not actually a good knight. <laughs> I see. Uh, and then you have Morpho Knight. Who is the boss of this one? Which is, or something happens to Morpho, and suddenly he's a really fucking weird thing. Yeah. Uh, suddenly he's no longer a joke anymore. Uh, and Morpho Knight's actually based on the concept art of Meta Knight that got released for the Dreams Collection. Oh, interesting. When he was more sort of samurai ish? Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'd be curious as to if they actually did something where they're like, we probably need those, don't we? Oh. Yeah, those two oh. in particular. You've got fire. Yeah. I'll take this. Uh, so it's like you go, or I go, or I go. Burn me. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh, and I, I think because you're one of the ones that applies stuff as opposed to one of So, interesting. Is that gonna work? Uh, yeah, I might have to become somebody else. Just no, we can uh, change. Oh yeah, change the partner. Yeah, change the partner. Oh. I don't know what it's trying to get us to do. I think we've already accomplished whatever it wanted. Oh. We'll find out. Yeah. There we go. Oh. 
Rising Sizzler. Yeah, I wanted to just wanted us to do that apparently. Okay, so now you can fire fireballs. Oh, I guess Tay is, is explaining those can be broken by water. Huh? Tay is explaining that all uh, Superstar Ultra says about Galactic is that he was too powerful and was sealed away. Okay, so I'm assuming he's an ancient being in the sense he was super powerful. I'd be curious to, for them to actually explore the, the concept of the knights, just because it, it looks like they're putting more people in there and actually having Kirby in the Order of Knights or something. Uh, yeah, actually a game explaining, like, what exactly is the... Oh, uh, I'm not so much interested in the, the Knights proper, but I'm interested to know how Meta Knight fits into that. Yeah, because I think that would be interesting just to see, like, are, is he a Fallen Knight? Is he just on his own? Because he's a lone knight, right? So he's... Yeah, and actually prior to this game, the implication was that, like, he's a member of the same race as Kirby, but I think they sort of recommended that, like, the Waddle Dees and Kirby's, Kirby's unique. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean he's uh he's like Lolo. Uh Lolo, Lolo, Lolo and the the enemies with the nightcaps that grant the sleep power up. Yeah. And Waddle Dees and a couple other things were all sort of implied to be like the race that, that uh is native to Popstar. Yeah. And and Meta Knight is one of those. Okay. Meta Knight's basically like a blue waddle D. Yeah, he's just, he's just kind of awesome at doing things. That's very interesting. Did we get the big thing? No. Like, big switch? Was there a big switch? The big puzzle piece. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember us getting a big puzzle piece. Oh no. Sadness. Oh yeah, I do remember that. You fight Galactonite um, in Superstar Ultra in... The, the Meta Knight Air Returns mode, <laughs> where you go through the whole thing as Meta Knight and you get to Nova and his wish is, hey, I want to fight this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't! We missed the big puzzle piece! Oh. I'm saddened. Well, fuck that noise! You gotta get that. <laughs> gotta get that. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's water. Water. Okay. Um. Nope. That. That dude up there. Nah. And oh what? right. And ice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I forgot about that. Probably do that the other way around, but whatever. shard things, huh. and um, he could do something similar to this, where he'd, like, go across the ground and just sort of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like a mirror reflection theme thing. Oh, yeah! I and what with all the focus on, like, the mirror in the in several of the recent games, they'd have expected it to return to one of these. Yeah! Yeah, that is interesting, because that one had the dash attack where you split in two, right? Yeah! That was, that was what that dash attack was. Yeah, what's well, interesting too, that's one thing I have to, I find interesting about this one, is that you have all of the base elements, right? And then you also have the special, you also have the specials. Yeah, which, 
I appreciate that they put those that they uh, <coughs> that they did both because I know and I know that's one of the harder parts about designing these is that you have the you have this, the base elements that can be mixed and then you have the specials that do funky stuff. So I want fire. There's something in the pit. Hey, I'm gonna fall down. Break that. Okay. Nothing down. his games. I'm, I'm not super familiar with Triple Deluxe or Robobot. I've played a little bit of Triple Deluxe and I haven't played Robobot. Actually, some interesting stuff that happens with Robobot is you have... There's a point where... I don't know, the ads all heavily focused on the mechs and I just wasn't interested. Yeah. But the The mechs are the like, yeah, but from a storyline perspective, because if I remember correctly, Meta Knight actually gets controlled or something happens to him, because he gets upgraded and gets given this giant scorpion tail for a bit. That's weird. Yeah. And, yeah, there's some weird stuff that happens throughout it. Like, I've watched the, I watched the final bosses of all of these games. Yeah, the final boss of Robobot's like, Jesus Christ, how many phases does this thing have? I know. <laughs> And, I mean, it's in part because of what's happening, because they're basically birthing a new Nova. Yeah. And so you're going through all of the stages of it growing. Okay, mark that up again. I can see the painter character. She's making a, a making a maximum tomato. Oh yeah, the the pictures are all um, either a specific game or a group of games, and that's the the Kirby sixty four one. Okay. And I believe this one is like is the the um, uh, amazing mirror slash Squeak Squad picture. Oh, cool. Right, Squeak Squad also did that. Also deal with the same. Ultimate um, World thing? Or? No, Squeak Squad was a Dark Matter game, actually. Oh. Um, okay. But Amazing Mirror and Squeak Squad were both the same team. Okay. And those were the only games they specifically worked on. And I don't know if that was, like, the team that helped with the um, Nightmare in Dreamland remake or what. But I know a lot of Amazing Mirror, Amazing Mirror was, like, built off of the Nightmare in Dreamland engine. <laughs> Um, but then, like, that team only did, like, Amazing Mirror and Squeak Squad, and then the new team came in for Superstar Ultra, and then did Return to Dreamland, and that pretty much every made life game sense. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, because I remember Squeak Squad had the, the star with the eye on it. Yeah, that's, he's Dark Nebula in English and Dark Zero in Japanese. 
And again, the 20th anniversary art book that came with the Japanese version of Dreams Collection um, specifically says, yes, he is a dark man. And he was sealed away in a treasure chest in the bottom of the castle or something. Okay. I don't know what's going on there. Somebody wanted to save him for later? Something? Uh, that would be that would be the query is why why do you keep bringing it back? Because uh, it seems like he's a he's a summoned entity. Well, we're not really sure what the deal with the dark matter is. Because like you have zero, and the implication was that like dark matter are like blooded off of him. Uh, but then like dark nebula is a different entity. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and, like, uh, and then, uh, Void is a different entity again. Yeah, uh, it's, like, sealed up. Like, he basically, because he basically splits. And when he splits, he becomes multiple entity. Kind of thing. Well, like, when you're fighting Zero in, uh, Lens 3, in, in Greenland 3, he runs off. Yeah, but I would think the implication there would be that he was a source, if not the source. Yeah, I, I think the implication was that he was the source of the, the dark matter that was plaguing uh, around in, in Dreamland 2, 3, and 64. Yeah, because in 60, uh, the Crystal Shard, you fight Zero 2. Well, it's Zero 2, but it's very clearly just Zero back from the dead or something, because he's got a halo, he has a giant band-aid yeah. um, on him, um, right. he's got wings. Yeah. It's, it's Zero fucking died, yeah. and, and now Angel Zero is back, and it's not working out for him. <laughs> yeah. Like, he shows up for the end of it, and he's like, this is a, this is a bad this, time. I've made a horrible mistake. Yeah. <laughs> like, they summoned me! Sure! Yeah, enough. it's time for the girls. Um, uh, okay. Uh, psychic and friend. Yep. So, I go... Get in there. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. Geokinesis! I guess he wanted to get it on this. Zap splash it. <laughs> Bam! Oh. Oh, we, we missed. Oh, yeah. No, All right, aiming's off. I'm gonna try it again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang out here. Oh, giant rock. I don't get. I believe you rock. can also smash those electrical switches with um, electricity hammers. That makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, I also like that ref. Because uh, that's a callback to the Thunder Rock from Crystal. Oh yeah. 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 O2 has a, has a little band-aid, because turns out ripping out your goddamn eyeball to attack your enemies with it hurts a little bit! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, that's his final attack in Dreamland 3, is like, okay, body's going away, just going to attack you with a bleeding eyeball. <laughs> yeah, well it's interesting too, because he's so big in that one as well, like this huge thing. Honestly, I don't know if, like... Smash it! Oh yeah. Here. Get on there. I don't know, like, if, if the big white form was the real form, or if just the bleeding eyeball was the real form. I think the real, the bleeding eyeball was his core, right? Yeah, I guess. So I was like, whatever it is that makes Dark Matter Dark Matter, uh, he had a bunch of it. He gorged yeah. himself on it, basically. Uh, also, maybe, like, stop cutting yourself to attack it with your radio blood, or whatever it is. <laughs> because seriously, what the fuck is up with this attack? Well, he is a- he is a being made out of a negative feeling, I would think. Um, oh, oh, like it's- It's part of the, like, the story, at least in, like, the Japanese booklet, or in the dream collection, or something, that, like, he invaded Popstar because he was lonely. Like, where he's from, he's the only entity. Ah. Because everything is dark matter, and he's dark matter. 
Yeah. And there by wasn't entering... anybody else. Interesting. And so by entering the world, he just in he injects the the stuff just comes off of him. Yeah. Interesting. Like the dark matter is all part of him, and he is dark matter, and like it's all just his eyeballs. <laughs> and yeah. That's interesting. That would suggest that it's like by no fault of his own. But then you have individuals like Gooey. Yeah. And it's like, where did Gooey come from? And like the fact that Gooey is is like it's it's clear in Dreamland 2 that Gooey's been shoved in a sack. Yeah. <laughs> and like to keep him out of the way. Yeah, I know and <laughs> I know there are because when you deal with characters that do what's the word? Neural editing? Although this wouldn't be the sort of thing I would expect to be in this sort of deal. But uh, characters who do neural editing, they would remove oh, elements of themselves. Oh, she's French. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we say we greet people on my planet. Hmm. I am Francisca, one of the three generals of magic. Together, we command the fortress of shadows known as Jambasho. <laughs> <laughs> We wish to assemble the dark Jamba heart pieces. Oh man, gonna go down to Jamba who? <laughs> Jamba juice, get my Jamba heart juice on. <laughs> get Jamba juice. Once we do, our most twisted of visions will finally be untwisted, unthawed, unfurled. <laughs> but I do not wish to waste my time with pointless chatter, so I won't! Just know that should you attempt to oppose us, I'll have no choice but to put you on ice! FOREVER! Yeah, there's a Jamba Deuce down the street. <laughs> we should ask them if they have Francesca drink. Oh my god, the people working there don't. <laughs> what, there with Anya? And it's like, okay, no dairy, right? Yeah. And so they use the, like, the non-dairy milk substitute, but then they put the dairy-based protein powder. Oh dear. Yeah. That's... Unfortunate. Yeah, it's like, come on, guys. Like, your stuff is made of. It's very important. I'm allergies. What allergies per se? But like, let's let's say that it's a good thing I was there with pills, and I was fine. <laughs> oh, okay. The sad because time. neither me or I can handle their very well without our lactose. <laughs> Yeah, basically, that's a polite way of putting it. Super Soaker? That's fine. Yeah! <laughs> oh, wait, can we be friends? Okay. No, with them. Oh. Okay. It's interesting, too, because this game has that whole make friends with people, and they're yeah. using the hearts and stuff. Are they just trying to make well, friends like, with if Dark you... Matter? If you notice, the game opens with the hearts scattering across. It opens with the guy doing the thing, and then the heart shatters, and all the shards go everywhere. Yeah. And, like, all these shards go everywhere, and they're possessing people and corrupting them and doing the dark matter thing. Yeah. And then one hits Kirby, and Kirby's, like, fucking fine. <laughs> Kirby's like, oh, hi. And, like, the official byline is that's what gave him the ability to do the friend heart thing. And it's like... What are you? What are you? <laughs> we'll come back to that question later. <laughs> well, it's like... Cause Kirby is considered a Star Guardian, basically, right? Something like that. Is You're, that a thing? I like, I know, know that's a thing in the show, maybe, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. They don't even know what the fuck he is in the show, either. <laughs> it's like, Europe. Europe. pink... Dude, you want to keep playing as Kirby, or you want to swap out to somebody? Yeah, let's swap out with somebody. Okay. Be somebody. <laughs> the bottom. The bottom. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll be. I haven't been Meta Knight. You know, we did just unlock Meta Knight. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna have a sword. I'm gonna be all cool and masked uh, and mysterious. And there we go. Yeah. My eyesight is bad, and those guys. Yeah. <laughs> I got bad wings. Dark and stuff. Oh. Yep. Congratulations, you're you're now smashed by the night. Alright. Except we don't get we don't kill people by throwing them off the top of the stage. We just kill them by killing them. 
Hmm. Such a different president. Yes. The secret is that Kirby is literally a marshmallow. <laughs> Pink marshmallow. So is he a cherry marshmallow? Fuck if I know. <laughs> like, I have some theories. But God. <laughs> If you think about it, Kirby is a monster at the source of, like, half of the game's problems. This is also true, because usually it's a... It's like, oh, let's look at Kirby's adventure. Kirby's adventure is, oh, oh, that mean King Dedetta must be up to no good again. Let's go beat the ever-loving fuck out of him. Get to Palace, King Dedetta's like, hey, Kirby, you want to help me seal away this ancient evil so that we're not all fucked over? And Kirby's like, stop being mean! So he beats up King Dedetta, which, you know... He was the only thing keeping Nightmare out of the picture, and now Kirby has to fight Nightmare, and it's like, Hi! I'm Kirby! And fights Nightmare, and it's like, Kirby, this wouldn't even be an issue if you hadn't, if you hadn't been such an asshole. <laughs> Plot of Squeak Squad. Kirby's eating a cake. Somebody steals Kirby's cake. Kirby blames King Dedetta. If you actually watch the opening cutscene, it was a fucking waddle dee. Um... Kirby comes like, Kirby blames King Dedetta and goes after- no, sorry, Kirby blames the Squeak Squad and goes after them. Cause they're thieves, they must have stolen my cake! Oh dear. In the process of accidentally releasing a forgotten Dark Matter being and, and dealing with those consequences thereof, we still don't get the fucking cake back. But Kirby beat the bad guys, so everything must be fine. <laughs> so what you're saying is Kirby is a Kirby is a bit of a trouble. Kirby's a little shit. Yeah, what he is. That's true. And now you can paint a thing on that. It's a key. It is a key. Protect me. Ooh. Oh, that wasn't a very long but yeah. Someone uh, on Discord pointed out that those keys originated in Subspace Emissary. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, you know, right, this. That was an interesting thing, too. Because I know it's not really part of the canon, but it was interesting to me just thinking of the Subspace Emissary as basically the plane of dreams, basically. All the characters I mean, and things like that, but... Eh, yeah, it's a, it was an interesting idea. Like, I, I talked about how I kind of view the, the uh, Dreamland and Popstar as being the, the shared Nintendo subconscious dream realm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it makes a certain amount of sense. Let's see, yeah, Kirby has some trust issues with King Dedetta and forgives nearly everybody else. Like, Meta Knight literally once tried to take over Popstar because he was tired of all the bullshit that was going on mm -hmm. and brought out a fucking warship and tried to take it over by force. Not Kirby's fine with him. King Dedetta once, once had, had his minions steal a bunch of food. That's literally the only time King Dedetta's been an actual villain in the series. Yep. All the other times he's been trying to he's help. He's been possessed, or has actually been doing his job as a good king when Kirby comes along to fuck it up. Just like, King Dedetta is literally only a villain in the first game, and that's it. He just can't catch a break. And the first game is so short and shallow that it was turned into a sub-game in Superstar. And literally has no bearing on the rest of the. It's like it's it's a pilot episode. You know those one shots that manga artists do. That's like, oh, here's this concept I want to do. Here's a one shot. That's what Dreamland One is. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's kind of funny, really, because it's just like perhaps that's the reason why Day to Day is always is always in that villainous position, even though he's not a villain. Is that that's what was espoused in the in the first plot, in the first piece of plot. So that's the way it must be. Yep. Yep. I know, right? Kirby might have issues with the only other person who can eat as much as him in the series. 
I can believe that. <laughs> He's can't have competition. Yeah. Yeah, because Day to Day can do. Other than the copy thing, Day to Day can do most of the stuff Kirby can do. Because he can. Yeah, Day to Day can't do the copy thing. Yeah. Yeah, he makes up for that with, I think, Ultra Strength. It's hard to tell. Well, he also has a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> can go bonkers. Bonkers. Yeah, totally nuts. Yeah. <laughs> No yeah. <laughs> Did anybody else watch that show? I Am did. I just singing to myself? Okay. I, I watched that show. That was a great show. <laughs> I mean, who, it was basically I who loved the premise. Yeah. yeah. Friend Roger Rabbit. That was amazing. I. S it was great. Out of work cartoon. Goes, Goes to work at the police station. <laughs> and he investigates two crime. Or Actually, oh my God, it's Castle. It's if Castle was the thing in the Roger Rabbit. Yeah, that's what it is. That's interesting. Bonkers is Castle. He's always name dropping and talking about the people he's very <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> we now need a reboot where Nathan Fillion voices Bonkers. That'd be pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, that was a good show. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Reminds me of that. Uh, what was it? Reminds me of that comic, that set of comics in the back of Disney Adventure, where they had a. There was like a gem that was circulating through all the different parts of the Disneyverse. It was, because uh, I think it started out in DuckTales, and then it made its way to. DuckTales or Duck Comics? Uh, Duck Actually, I don't care. Get fucked, Tony. <laughs> um, it was, uh. Train! Oh, man. But yeah, okay. I'll, I'll take care of the jumps. You you continue with the story. Oh yeah, but it was a um, basically it started out in Ducktales, and then it moved to Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Then it ended up in Goof Troop. Nice. And then it let's see there was I wanted, then it ended up in Bonkers, and then after Bonkers it made it back to Darkwing Duck. And that's where they actually first come? Yeah. Huh. That was, well, I mean, it was the back of uh, um, Disney Adventures, so that was where a lot of the, the, they had a bunch of random comics in there. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, that was why they could actually do that, uh, was because it's just like, well, what's happening in the next one? We're doing these characters. You haven't seen this comic in a while. Uh, but it was really funny with the how it appeared in Goof Troop, because all the other ones are like, man, this is a serious problem. It's possessing this dude and giving him powers. What's going on? In Goof Troop, it possessed a car that Pete bought. Okay. And it just... <laughs> it just okay. The car just went crazy. Oh. Uh, no! Shit, I fucked that up. Well, you're gonna have to do this again. Ah. <laughs> uh. A lot of stuff. Yeah, we did. Oh well. <laughs> Missed a jump. Hey, Bart Crosser. <laughs> well, let's just do it. We need to ban this. Mr. Jones! Let's kill them all! Give up that chance! Oh, your painting goes. Okay, I was about to say. How are you doing that? I can also do this. Get him over here. Oh, I can't move while I'm holding these. I don't know how to. Uh, whatever. Oh, you can, just, you can beat them with a stone. Yep. Yeah. Good job of reusing music in this game. Mm -hmm. Oh 
yeah, Miracle Matter. That was an awesome song. Yeah. Very fun. Oh. <coughs> yeah, a little bit of Super Baby Mario. All right. This time, I like how Yoshi's Island kind of solidified the cape as like, oh, okay, this is Mario's thing moving forward, and then like it didn't. It just disappeared from the series for like 20 years. <laughs> it showed back up in Smash Bros, and that was about it. Um, I felt like up until recent, Nintendo wasn't quite as concerned about um, what's the word? Internal consistency of Pokemon. Yeah. Like, the Kirby team has definitely stepped up their game in that regard. Yeah, the current Kirby team is pretty ace about that. Yeah, and like, the Metroid series has done a good job with that. Yeah, thing. well, that's... The Zelda team now cares about it, but it's evidently didn't necessarily give too much of a shit about it. Yeah. And even though they care about it, um, it's to the extent of them, like, going out of their way to subvert it because of the wild. Yeah. Because, like, Skyward Sword, they're like, look, the timeline! The magnum opus! And Breath of the Wild is like, look, this doesn't fit. Get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, although I know they'd never really do it, the one, the, the game I've always wanted was the timeline that led to the place being all flooded and actually having the hero fail, or, you know, the hero not being there and someone else trying to do it. Um, but, yeah. It'd be interesting, at least, just to... Okay. Is he gonna do it? Because he got possessed by Nightmare or something? Um... Because he produced them in Superstar. Uh... Yeah, but that takes place after for sure. Yeah. Did he have... I... Yeah. In his previous appearances... Because, like, he doesn't have, like, any initial boss fights in the or something? I don't know. Uh, interesting thing, because he's another one of those, like, he's only an outright Oh, Kirby, don't do that. I must stop you. Kirby's like, I'm ultra powerful. I can do anything. And uh, it's like, no, Kirby, the fate of the universe. And Kirby's like, hi. <laughs> How long did you want to stream today? Uh, I think until about four. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be catching up with uh, Matt Trussell today. I haven't seen him in like forever. I was like, yeah. Uh, don't want to see what he's been up to, what what he's moved on to after. What was it called? Um, Mysteries of the Yokai. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which they were working on that for, for quite some time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Inner sanctum of darkness. <laughs> yeah, Meta Knight's not the greatest babysitter. <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna talk to Kirby's Papa one of these days. Kirby's Papa is. Tell him to stop being a deadbeat dad. Actually, it turns out Kirby's Pop is just a pink version of Zero Two. Of Zero. <laughs> Kirby just spawned off of him. <laughs> yeah. That. Looks so 
happy. Oh, by the way, if you play me like Street Fighter, I'm strictly better. Yeah. <laughs> I have alternate Street Fighter inputs that make my moves better. Is uh, this is a thing? And it's like, oh, look, there, there is now an objectively correct way to play Smash, and that is that it is Street Fighter. Well, if you are, if you are, if you are, if you are. but like his powered up moves are are pretty better. They are better. <laughs> well, they are just straight up better. Yeah, they are just straight up better. And you can't do the Street Fighter inputs for anybody else, just for you. Well, I mean, I feel like that's a... I feel like it's a good thing that he did... that his inputs didn't spread across the... across the party, still. Uh, that's just a thing for him. Hey, you! Stubby little... pink thing! Uh-oh. Oh, he's angry. Yes, you! They're all... There she, she, I have a yeah. burning question for you! You're the one who was so rude to sweet Francisco, weren't you? Don't you dare try to deny it! Fiend! Coward! I swear, if you've harmed a single blue hair on her perfect head, you'll burn for it! Alrighty then. Jam blasted! <laughs> I will never, ever forgive you! I love them. Yeah, that's... Let's face Flamberg! That's me! For what you've done, I'll scorch you to such a degree that... That... Even tasty, toasty marshmallows will seem like ice cubes compared to you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Lady's got some problems. <laughs> She's just excited. Yeah. <laughs> is here.
Um, at least Flamberg and Francisca are sisters. I don't know about the last one. Hmm. Okay. I know some people are all writing, already writing squeaky fan fiction about them. Yeah, well... <laughs> I mean, on the one hand, they kind of invited it, but on the other hand... Eh. Eh. If, if, there are, if there are two characters that can be sem somewhat construed as having a romantic interest, there's going to be a fan fiction about them. Yeah... Like... It's like... He gave her a coffee, and she liked it! You know, <laughs> I always forget that pausing during the boss fights gives you information on the bosses. Oh. In the info section. That's, uh, that's what you know. I'm sensing that it wants me to grab water and electricity. Well, I, I just kind of ruined that, didn't I? Hold on. Wait. Now we have... Wait. We've got a plug already? Okay. Yeah. Storyline. Like Milky Way Wishes. I haven't played it so in a long time, so I'll have to I'll have to defer to you on that. No! Mother! Oh dear. Okay. Who died? Um, the electro guy did. Okay. Uh, 
I know, right? That buddy was just like, I'm gonna go kill myself now! Yeah! <laughs> like, there was a thing that he needed to do, but he did not do it very well. Like, at all. Oh, hey! I got a tough dollar <coughs> this time. Because I'm Meta Knight. Meta Knight can't be not awesome or something. Yeah! Ooh! A delicious picnic. Yay! Well, that was from Crystal. But, uh, yeah, Kirby 64. Yeah. <laughs> Did it. We got the thing. We got the thing! With the stuff! Alright, and now we're at the giant monolith. Yep. Heavenly Hall. Hall. The heavenly hall. I do not repeat, reiterate, or reinstate anything I say over and over and over <laughs> again. <laughs> we miss you, JoJo. Uh, JoJo's oh. bizarre adventure. Wait. <laughs> Somebody has to make an animation of that. Oh, oh god, I hope so. <laughs> Just JoJo going. <laughs> Or every time he does the thing, he just has a really long, really fast spoken monologue as he's punching the person to death. <laughs> oh, yeah. But having Mojo be Jojo. Yeah. <laughs> Mojo, Jojo, Jojo. Oh! Ripple Star's in the, in the background? Okay. Uh, of this stage? That's what Chase said. Uh -huh. okay. I thought it was on the background of the next. Uh... 
I guess not. I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> 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 this is... I know, right? No <laughs> evil here. <laughs> Bonjour. Mm -hmm. I am Zan Partisan. The eldest of the three generals of Badger. At first, I thought you to be just a simpleton with a knack for annoyance. <laughs> now it is clear that you are an interfering interloper! But I am afraid your unwanted wanderings end here. By the will of our beloved liege, Lord Highness, officiant of doom, I shall destroy you here and now! Lightning in general. Oh, got, got the boat, man. God, that went so much faster with another real person. <laughs> <coughs> that fight took me a while. Oh, uh -huh. I would, I would imagine all of her movement and stuff seems like seems like if you weren't built for it, you wouldn't be able to fight her all that well. <laughs> Man. Man. Jim. <Ugh>, Blasted. <laughs> <laughs> bah. How could there be such opposition on a measly and remote planet like this? Well, it matters not. This Jamba heart piece is already within my grasp. Listen here, you tiny ball of puffy pink mischief. For all I care, you and this gem bastion can rot and ruin forever! Well, fuck you too, lady. <laughs> <coughs> Jumba bye. Jumba bye. Uh, I think it's it's the villains thinking themselves more advanced or enlightened than the Dreamland inhabitants. Because let's be honest, Kirby is not the best example of like sophistication and intelligence, shall we say? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna agree with that sentiment. He is not very smart. <laughs> He's just absurdly powerful for some reason. So now we gotta pick. Everybody, don't die. 
you're very appreciated. No kickbacks. Oh. And now let me be called. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, it's ladder earlier. This thing. Okay. Oh right. There we go. Oh, this is. We're not doing a key puzzle. We are. We are. Okay. But. Oh, we have to make sure he doesn't get. Yeah. Oh. That seems mildly difficult. Or not difficult at all. <laughs> There's a couple more. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the concept. Now you have to put it in there. Alright. And the place is blowing up around us. This is super intense. magic sword is his inheritance, it will come back to him whenever he calls for it. So his first thought, naturally, is, hey, I can go sell this, and then summon it back to me! So is that kind of character? Yeah. Okay. No, okay. Get it! <laughs> Get it. Um, he basically gets tricked and or blackmailed into higher and higher tiers of, like, first he saves, like, the innkeeper's daughter for free rent. And he ends up saving the kingdom, because he's, he's totally not interested in taking uh, taking up, like, being the prince at all, until he's told that, uh, he gets all of the wealth and power that goes along with that. I see. Um, but then he finds out all of the real stuff that goes into being a prince, and having your entire life regulated and shit, ah, and sneaks out the back door. Um, but, like, he, he continually gets kind of, like, blackmailed and or tricked into saving higher and higher tiers of the day. To the point where, by the end of the series, an angry god is trying to possess him to use him as, like, a vehicle for ruining the world. And Gokudo's, like, so arrogantly strong-willed that he ends up possessing the god instead. Ah. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he's great. He's an <laughs> asshole and I love him. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of fun. The, the the general just is <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> that's a lot of dying stars yeah this place yeah so you notice the map has zoomed out a little bit more each time we went from dreamland to popstar proper to this fortress sticking out of popstar proper yeah so now now we get to see the rest of the galaxy. Now we've Milky Way wishes. Oh. But first, I want to see fucking Ripple Star in the background. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Yum Bastion. Yum Bastion. Oh yeah. Is it is it in the stage or is it here? Uh maybe? No. I'll have to look up a screen of it online or something. Okay. Yeah, we're we're milking my wishes now. Okay. Yeah, that's that's crazy. This, this, this. Do you actually fight the sun and moon? In Milky Way Wishes? In Milky Way Wishes? Or are they just plot elements? No, they're there. I th well, I think. You fight them in Dreamland 2 and 3. Yeah. But... Now I'm not so sure, because I know they were fighting each other in Milky yeah, Way Yeah, the, the, the opening plot of Milky Way Wishes is Mark's going, Hey, Kirby, the Sun and Moon are fighting again! 
fucking assholes. Yeah. Here, go go wish on this galactic star thing to get them to stop fighting. Yeah. Man, <laughs> this is uh, this is quite oh, the expanded. Ripple stars in here somewhere? Where is it? Am I just missing it? Maybe. I know the lore star cutter is here somewhere too, but again. Galaxy also, this map is huge. Yes, it is. And I'm assuming that is the the Citadel of Ebel. That is that is Highness's Citadel. Yes. Yeah. I don't know why, but it reminded of Bomberman '64, the second raid, second attack. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, stars, stars. Wait, what's that in the far back? What is that in the far back? Oh, it looks just like a nebula to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is just a nebula. I thought for a moment, I was like, oh, what is that? It's like, no, it's just... just um, it is it's, quarter till. Yeah. You wanna call it here? Or... Uh, we'll do one more stage. Okay. I think, and then we'll call it at that point. But yeah. I have to say, it's like... But so now we're here. Yep. <laughs> the Greater Galaxy. I kind of hope as DLC they like zoom out again, but I don't know what that would entail. You know, jumping between other galaxies, I guess. Or just going into the mirror version of everything and do like the, the Donkey Kong kind of spell, go through every image backwards, or go through every level backwards. That would be something. Here is the mirror universe version of this entire fucking game. Wait, what? <laughs> So right, it's the the Jam Bastion peoples are summoning Dark Man. Um, they broke the jump apart, which is what the their their Dark Lord is sealed away in, and they're reassembling it so they can seal him again. No, it, okay, so the heart itself was sealed. Okay. And they broke the seal, but it shattered the heart. So now they're reassembling the heart for something. Fuck, I don't know. Yeah. Things happen. They broke a thing. They, they broke a it. thing. They need to put it back together again. For some reason. For reasons. Reasons that are mostly evil or not entirely evil? Mostly evil. Mostly evil reasons. <laughs> okay. Chests. I know, right? Like, 
Is this just the treasure item? Is, is that what's, what's going on here? Oh, I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna meet David Jones. Billy Paul's Long John Silver. I haven't actually. Is it good? It's really fun and really empty. Oh. Um, but it's really, really fun! Okay. And what is there is really solid. I forgot I could do this. <laughs> Man, I wanted Sir Metal Gear Survive to be good despite the odds, but it's not. <laughs> well, I mean, they finally lost the creative talent behind it. Which is... Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be bad. Yeah, but fair. they... Uh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you brought it up! Oh no, Tay was just saying that, like... Unrelated, but on a similar note, a oh. guy bought Metal Gear Survive new for fifteen dollars. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know, right? I'm still not. I'm not paying for that game. I may pirate it someday or buy it secondhand, but I'm not paying for that game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, there's a lot of. I mean, there's a lot of bad blood on it. Anyway. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. Anyway. Just a little bit of fun. Oh, okay. So, you're yeah. the one on the time limit here. Yeah, I'll call it for now. Okay. But yeah, this was fun. Yep. Uh, thank you for having me on your stream. Well, thank you for coming over. Yeah. And I'm gonna go bolt this. <laughs> <laughs>